the Institute certainly seems to be off to a promising start. I mean, the fact that they've attr attracted such a blue chip list of people to come to this first conference, I think that alone is extremely encouraging because it says that there might be, and I say might be because the jury is still out, but there might be a critical mass of people within the economics profession who are willing to say, look, a lot of things we did didn't work very well. We really need to rethink things. And that, in turn, has policy implications. I mean, the, the, the critical thing is that new thinking is very important and badly needed, but it also needs to be from people who have the mass, the credibility, and the will to go out and start to, to, to command attention in the media, to command attention to from policymakers, so that if you know, people either INET itself, as say in a policy paper, or people who are associated with INET but independently, you know, very prestigious, come and say things, are willing to take positions and say, look, X didn't work, we need to try Y, that's going to have, that's going to have considerable impact. So I think just the, the, the notion of getting, even if it's a kind of a loose sort of herding cats kind of way, if you've got people who are sort of generally on the same path and, and of goodwill, I think that, that that alone can can start to make a serious difference. But you know the, the critical thing is is to get around the fact that we, we've had we've had an orthodox, particularly in the U.S. I mean, you know, in the in the in the England and in in, in the U.K. and in Europe, there's much there's there's much more skepticism around the model that's developed in America, and there it really it really is a very well embedded ideology, and so it's going to take some effort to just crack through what amounts to brainwashing that's happened to a lot of people. I mean, it's sort of shocking to me that libertarianism is considered to be a radical position among college students. I mean, I mean, it's inconceivable to me, but that's because how, how they've you know, convinced college kids that, that a position that fundamentally supports the current system is radical is beyond me.